So it's finally time to take a look at the 850 Evo from Samsung and not only that, compare it to the Crucial MX100 to find out which is the best SSD for the money. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. It's Brian coming back to you guys today with a video on SSDs. Now, when I did a review on the MX100 from Crucial, I gave it a really good review. And people were asking me, Brian, how does the Crucial drive compare against a Samsung drive of similar money, especially these two variants? So I decided, hey, when I recently had to upgrade my workstation in the background, I decided to put a Samsung Evo in it. And not only that, I decided to get the two drives and pit them head to head to see which one truly is the value king. Now today we have here the Crucial MX100 256GB version and we're going to compare it against the Samsung SSD 850 EVO 250GB version. And I'm going to run some quick synthetics and then I'm going to do some real world benchmarks for you guys. So the first benchmark we're going to put up here is ASSSD. I love this benchmark. It's my favorite synthetic for testing SSDs. It gives you the numbers that you need to know and it gives them to you pretty quickly. Now the Samsung did edge out slightly over the Crucial MX100 scoring 1,111 points in this test as opposed to the Crucial MX100 which scored 1,062. Though keep in mind these are still both really good numbers, especially for drives that cost around about $100. However, it is important to note that the Samsung did edge out the Crucial mainly in the sequential write speeds. We had their 334 megabytes versus around about 490 megabytes. So a slight victory to the Samsung there in the ASSSD benchmark. So the next benchmark we're going to do here is HD Tune Pro. Now I love this benchmark for testing consistency of performance, especially consistency of advertised performance. Now the Crucial MX100 performed really well on this benchmark. As you can see from those read and write lines, they're perfectly straight there. There's pretty much no dips in those lines whatsoever. However, keep in mind that I do run this benchmark five times on the mix setting with one gigabyte. And I also pull up the worst case scenario. So all the benchmarks that I ran on the MX100 were pretty much like this, which means that you're going to get a really consistent performance out of this drive when you're using it in real world applications, especially desktop intensive capture programs. So next up, the Samsung 850 EVO. And how did it perform in HD Tune Pro? Well, it performed really well. As you can see there, the read and write speeds were just soaring. However, there was one slight dip there to 200 megabytes per second. This did have me a little bit worried, though with the next benchmark, we're going to see how it actually uh, affected the drive, or did it affect the drive? Let's find out. So this next test is a real world test that I'm going to start doing with all the drives that come through here. And pretty much what it is, is it's a real world performance test where I'm using a program called Camtasia Studio to record 1440p desktop at 30 frames per second. And not only that, whilst at the same time recording 720p raw footage from my webcam. And now this is very intensive on the SSD if you're using it as a temporary storage drive, which I recommend you do. And now if the drive is performing badly, this will manifest itself in audio video desyncing. And if this happens, especially if this happens in this program, it'll mean that your footage is essentially useless. You'll have to spend a lot of time trying to sync it up. And it's a lot of time wasted, trust me, I know from experience. So <laughs> with this performance test, I decided to run it for 15 minutes and then analyze the footage and see if there was any audio and video that was mismatched. And the Crucial MX100 performed really well in this test. There was, the audio and video were perfectly in sync the whole way through the test. Next up, I ran this test on the 850 Evo and I'm delighted to report that it performed perfectly. There was no video or audio desync there. So this is a great drive as well as the Crucial. So let's get onto a conclusion. So I came into this review expecting there to be a clear winner and what I got was two clear winners. Both the MX100 and the 850 Evo from Samsung are really good drives for the money. And honestly, I would get whichever one is cheaper at the time of purchase as they both performed really well, not only in the synthetic benchmarks, but the real world benchmarks where it matters. 
Though another thing I will point out is that the Crucial MX100 is a silver themed SSD and it does carry a three year warranty as opposed to the Samsung which is a black themed SSD and carries a five year warranty. So that's one thing you may wish to take into consideration. And honestly, I think that would be the main purchasing point, whichever one is going to cosmetically match your rig better because they're both awesome performers. Though for what it's worth, the Samsung Evo did edge out the Crucial MX100 in those synthetics, especially on the sequential write speeds. Other than that, they're both really good drives and they're both going to serve your workstation or your gaming rig perfectly fine in the real world. So that's about it for today, guys. If you have any questions or comments about this video, then drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City, where I'll be coming back to you guys with more tech videos very soon. So peace out for now. Bye.